Hi, welcome to Dinner in Real Time. Today we have a 40 minute meal. This is tuna noodle casserole with green peas. Um, it's a complete meal and you can find the recipe at www.dinnerinrealtime.com. So, so let's get started. Um, I start by getting my mushrooms ready. Mushrooms provide a great flavor base for this casserole and I have to cut them really small um, because I have people in my house who really aren't keen on the texture of mushrooms. The flavor is pretty good, but you know. Anyway, so I get that done and then I've got my onions and this is another undisputable base ingredient flavor that I just really need. Um, if you don't like raw onions, just try them cooked and they are much better. I, they're much less sharp, I should say. And then again, uh, another allium, we have our garlic and I like to press mine um, in this press that doesn't require me to, to skin the garlic. So butter is my fat of choice for cooking the um, onions and garlic and mushrooms because I really love its flavor. And um, anyway, so I cook the mushrooms until they're tender, um, not brown. This is over medium heat and then add the garlic and this doesn't need to be cooked for very long um, really less than a minute because it has a tendency to burn the mushrooms will take a little while to cook because they have so much liquid in them but just give them a little bit of time and I like to flavor them in this particular dish with some fish sauce instead of with salt because um, it has all the components of salt it's very salty but it um, has a great flavor that goes well with the tuna casserole um, I really like the fresh breadcrumb topping with um, the butter and so does Roscoe he loves to lick that that cup always salt your pasta water pasta can be so bland if it's not salted um, and then cook it according to the package instructions. So after your onions are soft and your um, the liquid has kind of come out of your mushrooms, you want to thicken your sauce. I do this with a slurry of um, cornstarch and water because I can't have flour. And um, I ri make the sauce richer with an addition of sharp cheddar, important to use sharp so that the flavor comes through, and Greek yogurt and just stir this until it's nice and smooth. Taste to make sure that the seasonings are correct. And I might add, oh, I forgot to add pepper. I'll have to add the pepper, but I might add a bit of salt. I think I will add a bit of salt. The thing with pasta is that it can be kind of bland if it's not salted properly. So we'll try that. So I don't know if you have heard of the character Skippy John Jones, but in one of the Skippy John Jones books, um, he talks about tuna noodle casserole, which is why this came into my consciousness in the first place. I didn't grow up eating tuna noodle casserole, but we loved Skippy John um, in our family when I, my kids were little, and we still have a, a soft spot in our hearts for him. My sister gave my oldest daughter one of the Skippy John book Jones books for her birthday or Christmas one year, and um, <laughs> he's so funny. Anyway, um, this Skippy John doll that you see in the background was a gift to my daughter for Christmas one year, and we will never forget how she brought him to church and made him jump around during the um, time when the kids at church were singing their Christmas song. Everybody got um, a little taste of Skippy that day. It was funny. Hi, I'm Nancy D from Dinner in Real Time, the book. Um, uh, and I just wanted to read a little bit of Skippy John Jones' Lost in Spice. Um, and the reason why we're reading it is because <laughs> uh, the it talks about tuna noodle casserole a little bit in the book, so. Skippy John Joan was nuts about Mars. 
That's because it was a red planet. I love red. That's what I said. And I must, and I musty put some rusty on my big boy head. So off into the kitchen where Mama and the girls were starting up supper. We're making tuna poodle casserole, crooned his sister Jelly Boo Jones. N it, tuna noodle casserole, corrected Mama. A poodle is a dog, and we don't eat dogs. Baby John Jones thinks he's a dog, says Jezebel. Yeah, agreed Jujubee. He thinks he's a chihuahua. Because his ears are too big for his head, added Jezebel. That's enough, scolded Mama. Pinkie Pie's ears are just fine. But Pinkie Pie was obviously, um, was obvious to their chatter. Oblivious to their chatter. May I please borrow your bottles of red spice, Mama? He asked politely. Yes, you may, asked Mama. Um, replied Mama, please, with her big boy's manners. But you better not be thinking of doing any sprinkling. Not us, says Skippy, plinking, or tasting, or pasting, or wasting. If you know what it's, if it's good, what's good for you, she added. Well, Skippy John Jones was always, always knew what was good for him. You can see he's pouring all the spice on his bed. <laughs> That was bouncing and pouncing and rocketing in, in the rusty red dust. So this dish is one of those that takes some time to bake after you've assembled it. And so that baking time is when you would get the peas ready, which hardly takes any time at all. And you can also do yourself a favor by doing the dishes, which makes it easier later. So um, we served this with peas. I grew up eating a lot of green peas because that was my dad's business. He did green frozen peas. And so they actually pair really well with a nice salty pasta dish. They're sweet and juicy. So anyway, they go well with, with the tuna noodle casserole. Okay, so here we are. Here we are. Hopefully not having the food on the floor, and I'm going to um, tell you how I feel about it. So it's um, a nice bite here, some tuna and some crunchy on top, and of course the pasta. And that, my friends, is comfort. I hope you enjoy it. Check out the recipe at www.dinnerinrealtime.com. Thanks.